You brought us Taco Bell. Eric, honestly, that was a sincere gesture. Over the last two years, fast food restaurants have seen a welcome increase in sales, even though prices have been steadily rising. Find out 10 reasons why fast food prices are going up in 2022. Delivery services. I think my skills on the court translate to being a delivery driver. You know, I'm quick in transition. The convenience of fast food restaurants is undeniable. You can walk into one and walk out a few minutes later with your meal in hand. You don't even have to get out of your car, because just about every fast food chain offers drive through service to its customers. The global pandemic changed the way many people get their food. What? No way! And it's probably never completely going back to the way things were. When people didn't want to leave their house to get fast food, they had options. The emergence of food delivery companies like Uber Eats, Grubhub, and DoorDash meant that any order was just a few clicks away on your smartphone. What's more convenient than getting your Big Mac, french fries, and soda delivered to your door? This is a new level of convenience, but it doesn't come cheap. The CEO of Shake Shack admitted that his chain charges customers 10 to 15% more to cover the cost when they opt for delivery, instead of actually visiting a location. This might be a cost people were willing to pay in the middle of the pandemic, but time will tell whether or not they will continue to pay more for this convenience as things return to normal. These so-called price premiums on delivery orders are one of the reasons fast food prices are going up in 2022. Value menus. Yeah, I'll have the we haven't been in the grocery store in weeks meal, please. Fast food prices will be going up in 2022, but it's important for the small restaurants as well as the big chains to keep customers coming back. One thing they have done as costs were rising was to keep some menu items cheap, therefore more attractive to customers who might have otherwise decided to eat at home. This usually means highlighting the value menus that offer a selection of items that are priced at about a dollar. Value meals that include a sandwich, french fries, and a drink are usually priced at fewer than six dollars. However, even these fast food staple menu items will be under pressure to increase in price as food and labor costs continue to trend upward despite efforts to curb inflation. You gotta tear me apart, Lisa! The value menus have proven to be a good way for fast food restaurants to bring in and keep customers. Restaurants try to use the value menu to entice customers, but they bank on the idea that a certain number of these customers who showed up for the value deals will actually end up buying more expensive menu items. This is one of the reasons why the chains try to keep the value menu prices low. However, there is a good chance this value menu strategy will not be sustainable going forward if inflation continues to be a serious problem in 2022. Labor shortages. Hey, you looking for freaks? I know where you can find one of them. Working at fast food restaurants used to be almost a rite of passage for young men and women starting out in the workforce. Flipping burgers, mopping floors, and waiting on customers were tasks that many people did as part of their first job. There was always a certain amount of turnover at fast food restaurants, but for the most part, these chains hadn't had much trouble hiring people. This has changed over the last few years, as the disruptions caused by the pandemic have been accompanied by a persistent labor problem. Many fast food chains can't hire enough workers, even though the starting wage is often $15 an hour. You know how to mop. Oh, yes, of course. Oh. To many people, this may sound like a lot to pay someone for an entry-level job that doesn't require any experience. Even with the lure of increased wages, many restaurants have still been posting help wanted signs as they struggle to fill their ranks. Increased labor costs will eventually be passed on to the consumer. Prospective employees will also be affected by rising labor costs as fast food restaurants explore other options, such as kiosks and robots that could potentially replace human workers. Processing plants. Thanks to the latest budget cuts, I'm down to using grade F meat. Processing plants are an integral part of the food supply chain that gets the food you eat from the farm to your table. A couple of years ago, most of us simply took this all for granted. We buy what we wanted at the grocery store. The same has been true for fast food. We're used to getting what we want when we pull up to the drive through and getting it at a competitive price. However, the old reality could be in doubt going forward, as a string of problems at food processing plants have put an added strain on the food supply. This is the proof people need to see. Between 2019 and 2022, a string of fires and even an airplane crash at processing plants across the country have left many people scratching their heads. There does not seem to be an obvious pattern to the disruptions, but some experts have at least raised the specter of cyber attacks. Continued disruptions at processing plants are another reason why fast food prices are going up in 2022. Bird flu. 
about to go to that great bucket in the sky. Tell the colonel I said hi. Pretty much everyone is tired of talking about the pandemic at this point. People just want to move on with their lives, and who can blame them? Maybe this pandemic fatigue helps to explain why the recent bird flu outbreak in America isn't getting the kind of coverage you might expect. Chicken, 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 chicken. What is going on? I don't know. A strain of the disease called H5N1 has been spreading across the country from east to west over the last few months. So far, several million chickens and turkeys have been put down across 29 states in an effort to halt the spread of the virus. Because of food processing plant shutdowns, labor shortages, and supply chain issues, the price of chicken and eggs have been rising for about a year. This flu will only make potential food shortages worse as the supply of poultry drops. You should be prepared to pay a little more at Chick-fil-A and other fast food chicken outlets. However, even if you are willing to pay more for poultry and eggs, you might not see the selection you're accustomed to when shopping at your local grocery store. Supply versus Demand uh. You guys maybe should just suck it up and go to White Castle. One of the laws of economic states, that when the supply decreases, the price increases. The supply can be affected by any number of factors, and demand is one of them. When so many of the full-service restaurants were shut down during the pandemic, fast food restaurants became one of the few options people had to eat out, so they enjoyed an increase in business people probably got a whole new appreciation for the drive through The shutdowns also sped up the trend toward a digital presence when customers can use apps to order their food to pick up or to be delivered to their home. These apps are a welcome option for customers and will almost certainly become more and more common. What happened to the steaks that were in there when they closed? The successful shift away from dine-in service and an emphasis on takeout and the drive through kept fast food businesses operating and people employed. The increase in demand for fast food gave restaurants the option to raise prices, although many didn't at first. However, with the demand for fast food still high and with food, labor, and transportation costs on the rise, fast food prices are on the rise as well. Some fast food executives have made public statements about a commitment to keeping their food affordable. These kind of statements sound good, but time will tell if the executives are serious or not, as the pressure to raise prices will likely continue throughout 2022. Commodities and Produce Prices Egg, bacon, American cheese. In March, the United States Department of Agriculture released a document called the Food Price Outlook for 2022, and it isn't good news for anyone who likes to eat. The report divides foods into 11 categories, and the prices of all of them are expected to increase over the next year. The fast food industry buys an enormous amount of food in order to fill their customers' orders. Everything from potatoes to beef and vegetable oils are purchased in massive quantities. There are simply too many pressures on these commodities for the prices not to continue to go up. The only real question is, by how much? Labor costs continue to be one of the major expenses faced by businesses. That'll go to 75 cents, okay? I promise. And fast food chains are no exception. Many companies have increased wages over the last two years, but have still had trouble hiring. The government predicts that the price of everything, from chicken to lettuce to hamburger buns, is going to continue to go up in 2022. The predictions for the increase in the cost of fast food over the next year range from 5.5% to 6.5%, so you'll have to keep this in mind the next time you want to go to the drive-thru for a burger and fries. Supply Chain What if this could change the world? A burrito. Yeah. Before the pandemic led to disruptive shutdowns, most of us didn't give the supply chain a lot of thought. People just took it for granted that all kinds of products, ranging from electronics to fresh fruit, were going to be available. This attitude certainly extended to fast food restaurants. Countless items that fast food chains need, such as vegetables, meat, grains, and spices, are produced all over the world, and were readily available without interruption. The show goes on! The global supply chain that is responsible for getting these items into your hands is a complex and precarious system that is vulnerable to disruptions. The last two years have seen truck driver and other labor shortages, food processing plant shutdowns, and cargo backlogs at major seaports with hundreds of ships sometimes waiting weeks to unload their cargo. Experts agree that the supply chain disruptions in 2021 were likely the worst of the problem, but this doesn't mean 2022 won't be challenging for businesses and consumers. You'll likely be able to get what you want at your favorite fast food chain, but be prepared to pay a little more for it. Inflation The money, Skyler, where is the rest? Skyler, where is the money? 
Inflation is a word most people have heard way too many times over the last year. But unfortunately, you're probably going to have to get used to hearing it in 2022. According to the Oxford Dictionary, inflation is defined as a general increase in prices and fall in the purchasing power of money. People don't need to know the literal definition of inflation to know that it's a bad thing that needs to be brought under control. Inflation is up 8.5% compared to this time last year. The official inflation number is an average, which means some foods, such as meat, have increased more than 8.5%. Bankruptcy! Many fast food chains resisted raising prices over the last couple of years. However, they have other options, such as shrinkage. The idea is to decrease the portion size of a menu item by reducing the number of chicken nuggets or french fries, but charging the same amount. 8 chicken nuggets for what the fast food chain was charging for 10 is still a price hike. This practice even has a name. It's called shrinkflation. It's easy to get annoyed with big companies like fast food chains, but when they are paying more for everything too, at some point, they have to raise prices to offset their rising costs. Industry Changes Avoid the noid when you get any two or more medium two-topping Domino's pizzas delivered for just $5.99 each. Unlike many other industries, fast food restaurants actually saw a surge in business during the pandemic. However, they also had to deal with a lot of increased expenses, as well as a number of shortages that put a lot of pressure on the cost of doing business. One of the major ways the fast food industry decided to deal with these issues was to invest in technology. Many in the industry decided they can cut their operating cost by making their businesses more efficient. Efficient. For example, continued labor shortages have led some fast food chains to start implementing different forms of automation, such as kiosk at the counter that can take your order and robots in the kitchen that can flip hamburgers. KFC is starting to design its restaurants without dining rooms because it's putting an increased emphasis on the drive through and delivery aspects of its business. Many fast food restaurants are also increasing their digital presence with online apps that make it easier than ever for customers to order and pay. You can now get anything delivered with Uber Eats. All of these changes mean more convenience for customers, and fast food restaurants have decided they can charge you more for this convenience. It seems like this is true, but probably only up to a point. The fast food companies need to be careful not to turn off too many of their customers with prices that end up making them start looking for other options. Searching for another great video? Just tap or click and smash that subscribe button and ring that notification bell.